So this is my Bosch on-demand hot water heater that I got in Mexico City at Home Depot there. They don't sell them in Home Depots here in the U.S., at least not in ours. They do have on-demand gas hot water heaters, but they cost $1,300 and they're bigger. This is a low-pressure model for about $300 uh, from Bosch. It's a great little heater. It's supposed to operate at a head of only one meter and uh, I'm going to try it with this eventually but right now we're taking the cold water supply and running it through a little 12 volt pump that is attached to the car and then that is then going into the heater and the heater is a natural gas heater I've got it hooked up to a to a natural uh, sorry to a propane tank and a little regulator and so it might not be optimal. There's a switch here that turns on the electric element and then it lights and so I'm using that to uh, to heat the water which then is coming through this schedule 40 which is not appropriate for hot water so we will replace that with an ABS that is hot water rated and then to this PEX and then down into the biodigester and then it loops through a hundred feet of PEX and then comes out and goes back into this bucket here and you can see the steam it's coming out really hot uh, and then it goes from here and down again and into the 12 volt pump powered by the car and then back in to the hot water heater and again, we're using a propane tank, although it's made for natural gas. And so that is how... Let's shut off again. So that's how we're heating up the water inside the tank. Right now, we're at 26.2 degrees Celsius. When we put this aquarium digital temperature probe down by the side of the tank, uh, we were trying to find different ways to put it in. This was originally for putting the temperature probe in, this piece of PVC, but because the water level here is higher than there, it would spill out if I uncapped that. And this is not a very long probe. So what we're doing instead is we're just dropping it down, dropping it down the side of the tank like a fishing line, and then recording the temperature there. So as you can see, when I pulled it out, it dropped because the ambient temperature is a lot cooler. And so now when I put it there, it begins to rise again in temperature at the side of the tank is. So we're just doing experiments and different ways to heat our biodigester tanks. And you know the, uh, the outside tank here. This one hasn't received any heating at all. They are producing flammable methane. Uh, we're working on various designs. This is set up so that we can use this PEX to heat this tank once we've figured out how reliable that is. So this is today's trials for heating this tank using the propane. And once again, it looks like this machine has some trouble. I turn it off. It has batteries. It's one of the disadvantages of this thing is that down here there are D-cell batteries which uh, you have to be inserted and it doesn't go on. There's no way to light it. You can't light it through here. It has the electric ignition and you turn this on and then the pilot light goes on and using the, D, the two D-cell batteries But uh, it's much more successful than the heat exchanger that we made before that we've been experimenting with where I took some copper coil and wrapped it around some uh, aluminum siding and uh, yeah, I was using a, uh, a gas barbecue for that. But uh, that wasn't working so well. So now we do have a much better situation here. Thanks and looking forward to your experiments to 